Well, I really wanted to print this in black filament. But I didn't think I've got enough left. So I'm printing it in white, and I'll probably have to spray paint it black. Hi guys, this is a Clever Dog security camera. Um, I've got a couple of them. And what I want to do is point this one out the window so I can look at the back garden. Keep an eye out for pigeons and things like that so I can film them. Um, which is fine, you can do that just by standing it like that. Oh, it, it does need a USB power supply to keep it running. The only problem with this is if I put it relatively close to the window, what it sees is its own reflection in the glass. So what I want to do is put it right on the window with a bracket to hold it right up against the glass so it can't see its own reflection. Uh, there is a disadvantage, even if I do that, because we've got double glazing, we do get some reflection off the second layer of glass. But what I've done is I've printed myself a bracket, and that will go flat against the glass, and the, the lens should line up with that hole there. So, because it's right up flat against the glass, we don't get the reflection. I would have printed this from black, PLA, but I'm a bit short of it, and I thought there probably wouldn't have been quite enough to have completed the print. So, I'm going to have to spray paint this matte black, get some paint. Anyway, the way I've designed it, is I should be able to pop these pieces out. And I've got some suckers that go through there. I bought these suckers for a different project and they worked fine for that project. There was 10 in the pack, so I've got quite a few left over. They're not ideal. Um, ideally, we'd have some sort of a T-shape to the end there, and I'd have put a slot that they'd slot into. But these ones have got little hooks on them. So I'm hoping if I push that through there, oh, the other way around, Up through there and then push the hook back through that will lock it in place anyway and we want that little knobbly bit visible because that's how you release the sucker by lifting that up and what we haven't done is check whether this will even fit in there Right, that I think should pull off. Right, so four suckers. I can't get that piece out. I don't want to force it. It obviously goes in and clips in place, but it just does not want to come out again. So I'm going to leave it for now. That is a problem though because that is actually fouling the top of there and it's not sitting down quite as far as it should do. So that goes in there nicely and sits down but it should go down about another millimetre. So that means it's not quite lining up the way it should on the front there. That might still be alright though. I'll put some, some power on it 
and we'll see what sort of picture we get. Remembering that the idea is to spray paint that black. So temporary measure, got it running off that power bank. Right, we're now viewing through the security camera and yeah, you can see the top of the lens is obscured by the fact that we haven't got it sitting down as far as it should be. So I think I'll just cut a little slot at the bottom there to allow for that um, bracket sticking out. That'll be the quick fix. Other than that, that looks okay at the moment. Well, it's a dull day out there. I might have to make that hole for the lens a little bit bigger anyway, because I'm looking at the bottom of the screen. I think we can just make out a bit of white in the bottom left and right corner as well. Other than that, that's working. Now I've just switched it to HD instead of SD as they call it, standard definition, now high definition, so that's a bit sharper. Obviously on a grey day you don't get the best picture anyway. But that looks okay. Well I've just remembered I've made this little bracket for the power packs or power bank because uh, I used to use them for the action cameras hook that on the tripod and run the action camera off the power bank it only runs for a few hours off that but at least it gives us the idea of how it might work Cut a little slot under there, probably out of focus, so that sits down correctly. So, uh, yeah, that looks like that will do the job. But I still might spray paint it black. Right, well, I think we can see now. Now that the lens is centred in the hole that I made for it, it's actually picking up each corner, isn't it? So I really ought to either enlarge that hole or chamfer it so we can't see it in the screen. Okay, we might be doing a Mark II, but I don't think I'll worry about filming it. Right, repositioned so we can keep an eye on the bird table. So that's the view in the new position. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.